okay, 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 I get it. Like, just give me something. And then it gave me something. I was ooing, I was awing, I was wincing. So we've managed to find a really nice secluded spot on the beach where Freddie can have his ball thrown. <laughs> you ready? And Hector, no. You've been miscalculating it. Morning everyone, welcome back to day three of the Reading Rush vlogs. Today, I'm really excited. I am going to be moving on to my second physical book of the readathon, and it is Bloom by Kevin Bonetta and Savannah Ganucho. I am using this for the prompts of read a book completely outside and read a book of a genre that you want to read more of. And I'm going to be going down to the beach today to sit and read this. I'm so excited. is a beautiful graphic novel that is all in these lovely blue tones. It's been a while since I read a graphic novel, hence why I picked it for the genre I want to read more of. And so I can't wait to just sit there and read this lovely, hopefully, lovely story. <laughs> So we've managed to find a really nice secluded spot on the beach where Freddie can have his ball thrown. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I'm gonna just start reading Bloom now and I'll check in with you when I'm about halfway on what I'm thinking so far and what it's about. I'm halfway through the book now and I am enjoying it so far. Basically, Ari's working at his dad's bakery and he's like, sis, I don't wanna work anymore. I wanna go make music. But his dad, the bakery is really struggling. So he says, you've got to stay here. And Hector, no. You've been miscalculating it. Ari makes an agreement with his dad that if he finds a replacement, he can go away. So he gets Hector to start working at the bakery and it's basically their story of meeting and I think it's gonna be their story of falling in love. The art style's really, really cute and I love the facial expressions in this. I often said with Heartstopper by Alex Oseman that the facial expressions were second to none. They were like brilliant. Um, and I've never found a graphic novel that like hit that mark for me, but I think that this, graphic novel has equally cute facial expression so I am enjoying it I don't feel fully into it yet like it's probably a between a three and a four at the moment it depends on what the ending's like to what my rating's gonna be but I'm really enjoying it and it's been lovely reading it at the beach <laughs> who that girl thinks she is disgusting stupid little rat yeah I'm gonna go back home now oh we're okay I'm going to go back home now and finish it and I'll check in with you with some final thoughts in a bit. I have finished Bloom, which means I just did the maths. I've read 819 pages so far, and it's only gonna go up because I haven't added my progress for A Song Below Water to that. I'm gonna add that when I talk to you about that a bit later. I wanna make a bit more progress in it before I check in. <laughs> but this completes two prompts as well. This, as I said before, it completes the prompt for reading a book entirely outside and the prompt for a genre I want to read more of. So, I have now completed four out of the seven prompts, which is crazy. I'm kind of scared I'm going to run out of my TBR before the, <laughs> before the end. And so I might end up doubling up and completing some of these prompts again. And I'm going to give this four stars. Now, throughout a lot of me reading this, it was kind of a three star. Like I wasn't completely invested in the relationship and I felt like it just felt a bit flat it just felt there wasn't really any conflict really and so 
I just felt like it was really missing that. And I was like, okay, 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 I get it. Like, it just give me something. And then it gave me something. I was ooing, I was awing, I was wincing, I was LOLing quite heartily. I got goosebumps. Like, I literally got shivers reading those last, the ending. I thought the ending was incredible. I thought that it was just a really touching ending. And it really just made me feel like, oh, it gave me like a real reaction which i don't always get from graphic novels so for that reason i am going to give it four stars and i would definitely recommend it for that reason i mean as i said the art style is so gorgeous throughout and i mean i just love it i just i think it's absolutely gorgeous and like the facial expressions and stuff lovely throughout i just felt like it was missing something and then it, it delivered so yeah bloom was brilliant i think it really it really looks well at like that feeling of not completely being sure what you want from life when you're a teenager or a young adult feeling a bit lost feeling like that there's so much expected of you or there's so many paths that you are expected to go down and yet none of them fully appeal we've completed two books we completed four prompts freddie are you happy with the progress? Yes. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go take the Instagram picture for the day, which is an easy one. It is just to take a photo with your pet with the book. So we're gonna photograph Freddie with Bloom. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> really? Mm. Okay. It's the end of day three. <laughs> I just worked it out. The end of day three, we're on 918 pages. So that means we will hit a thousand pages tomorrow on day four, which is crazy. I'm so happy with that progress. I feel like a thousand pages in like three and a bit days is gonna be something to be proud of. Let's talk about A Song Below Water because obviously I've been reading that on audiobook the past couple days and I am really enjoying it but I kind of don't know what's going on. <laughs> there are all these magical beings that people can be and there is a gargoyle looking over the sisters like living on their roof for the past three years. Like gargoyles are a, are a living thing. And it, it's just very strange. I don't really understand what's going on. And there's some kind of conflict, which I think has just started recently, but I don't know what the conflict is. Like I know something's happening, but I haven't twigged, but I am really enjoying it. I love the sisterly relationship between the two girls, the way that they rely on each other, the way that they communicate with each other and are able to know what the other one needs is brilliant. Like I really love, love, love their relationship. It's one of my favorite like sibling relationships that I've read in living memory. I think if you're looking for a good sibling relationship, this is like, I, as of right now, the first place I would send you. I think it is just lovely. They're just a lovely, they're lovely two girls and I love their relationship with each other. I do like the kind of fabulism element to it. That is often my thing, but I'm just a bit confused. Me trying to work out what's going on. And I actually, I've been listening to the audiobook and I've been kind of wishing I read this book physically. I'm not gonna go back and read it physically now, obviously, but I just think it is the kind of book I would have preferred to have a physical copy in front of me. The audiobook is brilliant and I think we have two narrators and both of them do a brilliant job of both the girls. I just think because of the way it's written, I would have preferred to have a physical copy in front of me. The way that it's dealing with the whole Black Lives Matter movement and rights and respect for black women it's great. I'm loving that element of it as well. I'm just a bit confused. <laughs> so at the moment, probably similar to Bloom in my halfway check-in, it's sitting somewhere between a three and a four for me. So if the ending, I finally get my wits about me <laughs> um, and love it, it'll be a four. If not, it'll probably be a three, but a three is for me is still a really good rating. So it's definitely priority number one for me to finish that tomorrow morning. I'm listening to it on 1.5 speed. I wonder roughly how much I have left. I have about two, just over two hours left. So I should be able to listen to that tomorrow morning. 
And then I'll be starting my last physical book of the readathon, which is my sister, the serial killer tomorrow. This is only 240 pages. I think this is gonna be such a fast read. And then that's all my physical books done. So I think I'll probably end up reading another physical book this readathon. I just don't know what yet. I'm gonna have a bit more of a chill day tomorrow. I'm not gonna cook anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna like try and do an elaborate photo shoot on the beach. I'm gonna go for a walk, but I'm just gonna have a bit more of a cozy day tomorrow, I think. It's what my soul needs. I'm loving chatting to all of you guys on like my YouTube videos and stuff. Like the response has just been incredible and I'm having so much fun. Yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be finishing another book, which will have us having done five of the seven prompts and we'll be starting my last physical book, which is Tiny. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for all your support. I'm having the best time and I hope you're well. Let me know how the readathon is going for you down below if you're taking part or let me know what vlogs you've been loving or watching if you're not, if you're just like enjoying the content. Anyway, I'll see you. I always say I'll see you very soon, but I'm seeing you tomorrow. Like <laughs> I'm gonna wake up and be talking to you again. So um, yeah, bye. <laughs>